Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so tonight, really briefly, I'm going to be dealing with baby artichokes. Um, I've had these in the kitchen for a while. I do need to make them. Um, it's going to be kind of a quieter video because <clears throat> I'm not feeling very chatty, but um, I'm in the mood to cook because usually when I'm stressed out, I cook. So I'm just going to prep my artichokes really quick. Um, these are baby artichokes. They're smaller. I have like a red purple variety and then I have these mini green ones as well. So what you want to do, you just want to trim them up a little bit and then with kitchen shears you're going to be trimming the sharp tips and then you're just going to cut through the tops to have an even top. Um, but let me show you what I use. So aside from my artichokes, I do have some lemons. I'm going to use this to prep as well as cook with. I have garlic. This is breadcrumbs in here. I'm going to use Parmesan cheese and parsley. Um, there's my parsley. As well as some um, olive oil, salt, pepper, and I've got some white wine that I'm going to be using as well. breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, garlic, lemon zest, parsley, and some freshly ground black pepper. This is just a big dish of water with some lemon in it. I'm going to put in my trimmed artichokes in here before putting them to boil. I'm also prepping a water bath. This is um, just plain water, lemon. I am going to add some salt and this will help season the inside of the artichoke. I do want to explain really quickly, um, these are baby artichokes. Baby artichokes don't have a choke, so um, this is fine. and They will be fine to eat the entire thing pretty much. Um, for example, I cut this one in half just to show you there's no like fuzzy choke in there. Um, that's usually the part that's not so nice to eat, but this is the heart inside. And all of these leaves in the middle, they're going to be edible because frankly, um, they're pretty tender because it's a baby artichoke versus a globe artichoke. I'm just going to trim off the tough end. Um, some of these. Actually, these are really, they're not that bad. If they're spiky, you know, trim them. If not, you don't have to. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm just going to slice the top with a really sharp knife. As you can see, this is what you're going to get. And then you can just kind of loosen the leaves up a little bit. And that's so you can put some of that breadcrumb mixture later on. Uh-oh. Anyways, so this is going to go in my lemon water. Some of these outer ones I'm going to pull off. And then, as you can see, most of the leaves are at the same length. So I will just cut where appropriate.
going to be boiling this in hot water for just a couple of minutes to get them a head start to cook on the inside as well. I'm going to let this cook and then I'm going to replace the water from my other dish with some clean water, cold water. They're in the cold water right now so that I can handle them a little bit better. Mm -hmm. 